Hey guys, it's Daros Probs here, and welcome to another Universal Minecraft Editor tutorial. Now, Matt has been really busy, I think, because he has updated this again in the last couple days. Now, also, just quickly, before I focus on this little tutorial, um, this game got updated, which I can't believe, and I think it was just a bug fix. But yes, it has actually fixed this icon crack, because it was showing up as chainmail. I haven't changed that, I've left that exactly how I was, I've just loaded up this world again and it's actually breaking mob spawners now, which kind of looks like shreddies, if you know what that cereal is. Anyway, so today we're focusing on a new quick mod, which basically is kind of like you're adding a loot table, a custom loot table to an entity. So it's basically changing what they have on as an armor slot. Now in front of me I got a creeper, spawner, and yeah over there I got something else. I'll show you in a minute. So I need to set it tonight and um, yeah let's show you what I'm on about. So this is a creeper, okay, he's charged, he won't attack me because I'm in creative. But when I kill him, after 5 hits, he drops modded items, guys. Okay, as you can see, I got a monster spawner, some frosted ice. This one drops no gunpowder whatsoever. So basically, what I've done there is give him a different loot table. He didn't actually drop anything, wow. But he does actually drop something. This one is just diamonds, okay. Oh, I should really get a sword, could be a bit quicker with it. Okay. So he's just diamonds, look. Diamonds, diamonds, modded items, you get the idea, okay? Hey, he drops basically just creeper spawn eggs. But you get the idea, guys. Now, as you've seen there, I just got a barrier and something else, which I found out just recently whilst playing around. You can actually get minecarts with command blocks on this game now. This is the Xbox 360 edition. And I'm just showing that you can get modded items from like a creeper. If he was holding that sword and his item, you know, his, you know, you know what I mean, his items. Uh, yeah, you actually obviously get that as a modded item. So you can actually do some other stuff, which is pretty cool. And this is what this is for. Now, this is, I've seen this loads of times. A lot of people started doing this now. They're using shulker boxes as starter kits, okay? Now, all you need to do is set their life to one. I've had a little fireworks, because it's me. <laughs> um, all you need to do is set their life to one, and basically when you punch them, you get your starter kit, okay? Now, people can abuse this like mad, so please make sure when you put items in your shulker, you need to make sure it's not too OP. But the only problem with this is, look, you do get the items damaged. Now... The only way you can fix that is by putting a chest inside them. So I've just called this one starter gear. Look, place that down, break it. It's fully fine armor. Wow, it's actually damaged a little bit, but that's because I've made that damaged. <laughs> because basically I just copied that from my old prison thing. But you get the idea. And then you can obviously put in your books, etc. I don't know what's going on there. I think the colour codes are different on here. I can't quite remember. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a complete noob. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm going to hop on the computer and show you how this is done. Um, I'm going to have to spawn in something, though. So let's just spawn in a witch, for example, or something like that. We can change her armor slots. So we we'll spawn her in, and let's save and exit. Right, guys, so I loaded up. Universal Minecraft Editor, this is the latest version, 1.3.2 and somebody pointed out in the comments section of my last video I made of this saying, can you make a, a video on every single feature that is on this program? Now you do know up in this top right corner up here there is these three dots with changelog, you could just read that and uh, yeah, you can just work things out for yourself Matt is really good here, he's told you every single thing he's changed. Now I often look at this because, you know, it's good to find out, you know, you, you find out things from that, basically. Anyway, I just thought I mentioned that. 
Let's load up a little save. It's exactly the same save as I used last time, if I can find it. There it is. And let's go to Chunk. Okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, the witch should have been there, so maybe I can find her like this. Uh, witch. There we go. Yep, cool. Right. There we go. All oh, right, okay, she wasn't on my chunk. That's fine. So, the new feature that has been added is this armor and hand drops. Now, this is really good. Like I say, it's kind of like making your custom loot table, if you like. So you can change whatever, you know, armor they're wearing or whatever they've got on their left hand or right hand or whatever. This is good for mobs that you don't see the stuff on. Whereas a zombie, a skeleton, it isn't so good because if you want them to drop diamonds, you're going to see them wearing diamond armor, for example. You're going to see them holding diamond swords and they will actually use that. Now, I don't know if a creeper's holding a diamond sword and he hits you, that's going to affect you. Honestly, I can't tell you if that's going to work or not. I haven't quite tested that yet. But this has been in the game forever, but he's just made it a lot more easier. So, obviously all you do is click up there and you can just type in like you would, search an item basically. Put whatever you want and the, the, basically the percent there is the percent chance it will drop. I presume if you've got looting on, it goes up. Um, but yeah, I'll just set this to a sapling, 100%. Not the most exciting thing in the world. On the witch's head. And I'm just going to change her life to like one. Why not? And yeah, let's save and exit. And let's just uh, try that out. And I'll show you. Right guys, let's load this sucker up and try it. Basically, what I need to do is kill the witch. It should take one hit, and I should get a sapling. I oh, know she's healing herself. <laughs> there you go. There's my sapling. 100% drop chance. Now, how did I make the creeper over there not drop any gunpowder? You just had a death loot table, guys. I've done tutorials on this in the past. It hasn't changed at all. Just put a death loot table of a villager or a bat or a silverfish or something that doesn't drop any loot. And they won't drop whatever they should drop. So if I wanted that witch not to drop any witchy bits, I would just put a death loot table with a villager, for example. Right, guys. Any more questions, let me know in the comments section. Thanks again, Matt, for updating this again. I don't know how you keep coming up with all these ideas. I'm sorry, my dog's squeaky toy just went off in the background. And, uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dan Ross Probs. Bye! Ooh, command block. Oh, let me just show you this. Hang on before I actually do add this. So this doesn't actually crash your game or anything. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, that sucks, doesn't it? It's just a normal minecart. But it looks cool. You could use that as like a... I don't know, like a currency maybe. The command block minecart. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.